hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix hogwarts legacy game crashing crashes at a startup or crashing to desktop on pc and this is for the epic games users so without wasting your time here follow the fixes the first fix is to modify the game launch option so try minus dx11 or minus dx12 so open epic games launcher go to library then click on this three dot next to hogwarts legacy game and then click on manage now enable the launch options and then here type minus dx11 close the tab then launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not if not then again go to the launch option and this time type minus dx12 and then go ahead launch the game and check if it's still not working then remove this launch options toggle it off and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video Fix to Windows security users allow the game exe file to control folder access and firewall. So in Windows search type Windows security and open it. Then click on virus and threat protection. And then click on manage ransomware protection. Then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click as to allow. And then click on add an allowed app. Then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder wherever you have installed the game. So open C drive, open program files folder. Open Epic Games folder, open Hogwarts Legacy folder, and then select this Hogwarts Legacy exe file and then click open to add it to the list. Again, click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. Open the Phoenix folder, open binaries folder, open Win64 folder, select Hogwarts Legacy exe file and then click on open to add it to the list. Now go back, then click on firewall and network protection, then click on allow an app through firewall. Then click on change settings, then click on allow another app, then click on browse and then browse to the game installation folder. So open program files, open Epic Games folder, open Hogwarts Legacy folder, select Hogwarts Legacy exe file and then click open and then click on add. Again click on allow another app, click on browse, open Phoenix folder, open binaries folder, open Win64 folder, select Hogwarts Legacy exe file and then click open and then click on add and then click on OK to save changes. Now go ahead, launch the game and check if your problem is fixed or not. Now, if you are using any third party antivirus program such as Komodo, Avast, Casper Sky, AVG, McAfee, Norton, Bitdefender, ESET, then allow the game EXE to your antivirus program as well. Or simply disable your antivirus program and then check. Later you can enable your antivirus program. Fix 3 is to perform a clean installation of graphics card driver. So if you're having NVIDIA graphic card driver, then go to this NVIDIA website. If you have AMD graphic card driver, then go to this AMD website. And if you're having Intel graphic card driver, then go to this Intel website. Links are provided in my video description. So what you have to do, you have to search and select your correct graphic card driver and reinstall it. And then launch the game and check. So I'm showing the example of NVIDIA graphic card driver. So go to this NVIDIA website. And once you are on this NVIDIA website, enter your graphic card driver version over here. Then select Windows operating system and then click on find. Then you have to download and install GeForce Game Rated Driver. So whatever is the latest version, you have to download and install it. So click on view and then click on download. Now once this exe file get downloaded, then run the downloaded exe file and select yes to allow and then click OK. You will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. Then select custom advanced option so tick mark custom advanced option and then click on next then tick mark perform a clean installation box and then hit on next so tick mark perform a clean installation box and then hit on next and after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done restart your pc and then launch the game and check next solution is to run the game on dedicated graphics card driver now this fix has solved the issue for many players so i hope this will work for you as well so in Windows search type graphic settings and open it. Then click on add desktop app. Now go to the game installation folder, open program files folder, open Epic Games folder, open Hogwarts Legacy folder and select this Hogwarts Legacy exe file and then click on add. Now expand it and then next to GP preference select high performance and then again click on add desktop app and this time open Phoenix folder binaries folder win64 folder and select this hogwarts legacy exe file and then click on add now after adding it expand it and then click on high performance next to gp preference now go ahead 
launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Fix 5 is to run the game from the game installation folder or run the game as an administrator or try running the game in compatibility mode. So open Epic Games, click on this three dot next to Hogwarts Legacy game and then click on manage and then click on this browse folder next to installation. It will open the game installation folder and then open the Phoenix folder, open binaries folder, open Win64 folder and here look for Hogwarts Legacy exe file. Double click it and try to launch the game from here. See if this work or not. If not, then right click on it and then select properties. Now go to the compatibility tab and check mark run this program as an administrator. Hit apply. OK. Then launch the game from here and check if your problem is fixed or not. If not, then tick mark run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8 and then hit on apply. OK. And then launch the game and check. If it's still not working, then from the drop down select Windows 7. Hit apply. OK. Then launch the game and check. If it's still not working, then tick mark disable full screen optimization option. Hit apply. OK. And then launch the game from here and check. Now, if it's still not working, then untick all these three options. Hit apply. OK. And then follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Fix 6 is to verify the game files. So open Epic Games Launcher. Click on this three dot next to Hogwarts Legacy game. And then click on Manage. And then click on Verify next to verify files and after the verification has been done then you can go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is fixed or not next solution is to delete hogwarts legacy saved game folder now please take a note you will lose all the save game progress so keep the backup of this folder to the desktop first so here how to do it open file explorer go to c drive open users folder open your username folder then open app data folder now, if you don't see this app data over here, then click on this view. So, and then check mark hidden items. Then open the app data folder. Then open local folder. And then look for the Hogwarts legacy folder. There are two Hogwarts legacy folder. Select both of them and then copy it and paste it to desktop first to keep the backup. Once you have the backup, then right click on it and then select delete to delete it. Now go ahead, try to launch the game and check if your problem is fixed or not. Fix 8 is to install Visual C++ files. So go to this Microsoft website. Link is given in my video description. And once you are on this Microsoft website, scroll down. Download both x64 and x86 version. Download both the version. Now first click on x64 version. Now if you see repair option, then click on repair. And if you see install option, then click on install and install it. Then click on x86 version. Now, if you see repair option, then click on repair. And if you see install option, then click on install and install it. And then just restart your PC once. And after your PC restart, go ahead, launch the game and check if your problem is fixed or not. Fix 9 is to disable overlays. So first disable Discord overlay. Launch Discord on your PC. Then click on gear icon in the app bottom left corner. Click on game overlay on the left panel and then toggle off the enable in-game overlay. Disable NVIDIA overlay. Open NVIDIA GeForce Experience Settings General. Turn off in-game overlay. Similarly, disable overlay in all apps or close all other overlay apps such as GeForce Experience, NVIDIA Shadow Play overlay, AMD overlay. And then launch the game and check. Fix 10 is to close conflicting or unnecessary program. So disconnect external USB drive, mouse, disconnect additional joystick controllers, multiple monitors connected to PC, unplug the Logitech or Thrustmaster racing wheel, and the task for Afterburner, River Tuner, HW Info, Razer Synapse, or MSI Dragon Center from Task Manager. Close all of your tabs to free up RAM and then relaunch the game and check. Fix 11 is to update Windows. So go to Windows Settings. On the left, click on Windows Update and then click on Check for Updates. And if there are any updates available, then download and install them. And then just restart your PC once. And after your PC restart, go ahead, launch the game and check if your problem is fixed or not. And this is the last solution, uninstall and reinstall the game. So simply uninstall Hogwarts Legacy game from your PC, then restart your PC and reinstall the game to C drive, SSD drive. If already installed in C drive, then try installing it to another SSD drive or external SSD drive. And then you can go ahead, launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. So these are some of the fixes that you can try to fix Hogwarts Legacy game crashing or crashes at a startup or crashing to desktop on PC. So that's all for this video. If this video helped you, then please like and subscribe to my channel, share this video, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thank you.